my Shelly's. I love my Shelly's. So this is one territory. This is a mom and she's got the one baby. It's getting bigger now. Um, so it's oot in a boot. And she's oot in a boot. They want food this morning too. We're gonna go around the corner. She's in one corner by the sponge filter. And then there's kind of a divide that they built up. Yes, they can pick up the gravel. No, I didn't put it on top. And in the middle here is what I like to call um, Shelly Condo City. And in this are several generations of Shelly's for my tank. Um, really, 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 really tiny one down there and that toward the bottom end of that shell kind of, oh man, sorry, one hand, it didn't work very well on the shell. And a really, 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 really here, here, here. You can do it, Ginger. Teeny tiny one that's blending into the gravel. It's over the black and white by the little gravel kind of under the shell, sort of in the middle. Yeah, I know that's not really helpful at all. But it pixelates really bad when I zoom in that far. So yeah, there's several, a couple of generations here in the middle. They finally started reproducing in more numbers. Not a lot, but still some more. Which has made me very, very happy. Yeah, there's two, two little ones were right back in there. Of course it never, there's the other little one. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I need a better camera, but it's my phone. So there's several little fry amongst these guys, the older ones. And like I said, they did the excavating themselves. Yep. Um, when they first, when I first set them up, the gravel here was just a layer that went up to the rim. And then above that, I built up just several bags of sand. It's cichlid sand. They have excavated below the layers of sand and down into the gravel. And they can pick up the gravel and move it because believe me, I didn't move it, they did. It's really impressive to watch a teeny tiny little fish pick up a monster piece of gravel and move it across the tank and drop it somewhere. I have yet to catch them on camera doing it. Why? Well, it's because they don't seem to show off for the camera. But yeah, so they've got babies out in this section, itty bitty ones, and climbing over this huge mountain. I call it the steps of Mount Salaya. If you're Star Trek, you know what that is. If you're not Star Trek, well, it won't mean a thing. Um, and they have a couple of little babies. I see one of them out. Kind of, you can see the eye, there it goes, moving above the limbs and between the shells a little bit. There it goes. Yeah, right kind of in the middle where it's, and then there's another one down under the rock. Boy, howdy. Focus is a challenge. But anyhow, they're in there. Might work better. Not really. Just scares them. So yeah, this mom and her her man has got a couple babies in there. And then of course TARDIS because every tank needs a TARDIS. And way over here in the corner is one more Shelly. Staking out her claim, maybe her claim to this shell, this shell area over here. She doesn't have fry and she's pretty young. She's pretty consistent as she stays in the same location all the time. I make sure she gets food. And when I feed, I make sure she gets some. And then, well, I make sure they all get some. There's a spray bar attached to a little mini canister filter you can hang on the back. Bless you. Doodle bug. Um, so the spray bar brings the air, uh, water flowing down and then the sponge kind of brings it back around. And anyway, they get plenty of filtration. The roots go to the pothos plant on top. Um, and there is a heater turned on here. It wasn't turned on this summer, but it's gotten colder and I can't live with the thermostat on like 75. So I turned their heater back on. But yeah. Shelly's little groups. I guess what they do is a male stakes out a section maybe in his harem and then they divide it because that's the only thing I can think of. 
because the areas are divided. There's a distinct area and she's by herself over here. There's this distinct area where this is pretty sure this one male and several females are in the middle here and they're fra. And then you climb back over this mountain and past this rock and you have what I think is a male and his female. Although this male, Casanova, I have seen him cross the divide to this little one over here. I'm just not sure if she's big enough yet to breed. She's pretty little in the big, you know, Shelly scheme of things. So anyway, this is my Shelly tank. It's a 33 long. And I did put a couple plants in here. So far the, the cryptocori, cryptocorii, crypts. People call them crypts for a reason. Nobody can pronounce the rest of the name. Anyway, there's a Wendetti, again, not sure, not saying it right brown maybe right here and just the regular old green one they've excavated around them they buried this one they've kind of dug that one up a little bit crypts are tough i thought they might be able to establish in the sand or dig down to the gravel of course they've excavated the gravel so who knows but they keep the sand turned up enough thought they might be able to take root and have a little bit of greenery in the tank <clears throat> you don't need it but it makes me happy like i said the nubius is doing fine on the rock here and this java fern melted back to nothing because Java Fern hates my water. Hates it with a vengeance. And then they start slowly, slowly coming back. And that's what it's doing now, slowly come back. And then I'll throw a little bit of moss in and just let it go. And all right, I've rambled till six minutes. And honestly, I have found that if I get it much past, if I get it to 10 minutes, it will never upload. I know because I've had longer ones of these guys because I ramble too much. And won't upload. Stinky. YouTube eating new. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a look at my Shelly's. And so I'm hoping now that I've kept it under. It's at seven minutes. I'm fixing to shut up rambling and say adios. But I just love these fish. Their interactions are amazing. The fact that I have fry finally just makes me unbelievably happy. And I wish they were digging right now. Just because watching these tiny little fish pick up a big mouthful of gravel the size of their heads swim it over and spit it in somebody else's territory is really 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 fun to watch and if you're ever in doubt about whether you want shellies the neolamprologus multifasciatus are the way to go they may not be the most flashy fish although i think they're beautiful those those eyes the pretty stripes, they'll get you with their behavior. And the fact that you can collie bring them with no problem. You just, they're a pleasure to watch. They can go probably as small as a 20 long, but they will outgrow that quickly. So if you've got an LFS that you can turn in some of the, grow up some babies and turn them in for say credit or something like that, I do, so if mine start outgrowing my 33 long, I can take a few in, a pair or two in for credit, and then they can rehome them. Um, that's a way to go. Otherwise, you're gonna, 20 long, you will run out of space. At some point, I'll run out of space in a 33 long, but not anytime soon, because there's a lot of territory that they can expand into. But anyway, that's the extent of what I know about Shelley's. Rachel O'Leary knows way more than I do. Rachel Leary knows way more than anybody does, quite frankly. Look at those guys sparring. Look at them. <laughs> uh, I hope that was in the background on camera while I was blabbering my mouth and not paying attention. Um, anyway, Rachel Leary is a great source um, for Shelly information. She's just a great source for anything. She's not the only source, but she is just flaming over the top smart when it comes to fish and caring and all that. Um, you can also get information on aquarium co-op species stuff. And now I've rambled to nine minutes and 18 seconds, so I am going to shut up. But I will leave you with Shelly's. Y'all have an awesome day.